Hello, today I'm going to show you the cloning tool on GoDaddy. The cloning tool is a feature that GoDaddy offers that, as far as I know, none of the other big hosting providers offer. So it's great if you're a web designer. It's also as good if you are just building your first website and just practicing. So to my clients, I always recommend that they log into their GoDaddy hosting at least once per month. Now, when you log into your GoDaddy hosting, this is what you'll see. To go through this tutorial, what you'll do is you go into your um, web hosting. Just click right here. Click on Manage. Now, if you have more than one hosting package, all of your hosting packages will show up here. But in this case, there's only one hosting package, so you will only see one hosting account. Um, so you'll click on Manage, which will take you into that hosting package. Now, in order for the cloning to work, you don't necessarily have to have more than one domain name, but if you have multiple domain names, it will be good too, because um, I've recently joined Upwork, and one of the things that I see repeatedly on Upwork is where people are moving from one host to another, or they've purchased additional domain names within GoDaddy, and they're trying to get it set up. So if you needed to add an additional domain name, what you would need to do is come down to here, add on domain name. The instructions are pretty straightforward, so I'm not going to walk you through that in this tutorial because this is more about cloning the site, which will literally take about two or three minutes. So when you click on applications, you'll see how many have already been installed, your backups, your application browser. We're going to go into my applications that you can see the applications that have already been installed and this is also where you'll do the cloning. So as you can see here we have three applications that are installed. These are all installed under esnservices.com um, then you have esnservices.com slash office or you have esnservices.com slash quiz. That could very easily be three different domain names but in this case it's just one domain name with a different root directory. So if you wanted to clone a site, this is it's this simple. It is this simple. You would simply um, click on the selection button here. You click on this thing and when you go over it you can see that the word clone will come up. You click on that and then it will ask you where you want it to go. Now if you had multiple domain names you would just click here on this little arrow and when you do the pull down, it will show you all the different domain names that you have. So you could simply just select a different domain name. Because we're only working with the ESNServices.com, we do need to put a um, different directory. So we'll just call it um, Upwork for the sake of this tutorial. Um, now, what's great about this as well, it will not allow you to overwrite something that's already there. So if I try to do it without the extension and just put esnservices.com, because there's something already there, it would not allow me to move forward, which again, if you're new to building websites, that's a, a safety mechanism for you. So now we're going to just select esnservices.com, the new extension is Upwork, and you just click on the word clone. It will process that. Now when you clone a website, what will happen is all of the passwords that you have on the previous one will go into the new one. Anything that you have set up. However, as far as the um, pathway, it will change the pathway to the new um, install. So for example, if you had esnservices.com, now that we're making esnservices.com slash Upwork, all of the pathways within your site will now have the slash Upwork. Now the reason why I point that out is because if you were installing it into a new domain name, it would automatically update all the links within your site to that new domain name, which is great. It means you don't have to go in and change any pathways. It automatically changes that over for you. Now within the site, on the pages, if you have it written if you have the domain name typed somewhere in the page then obviously you'd have to go in and change that. Um, it will update your contacts for you as far as on your contact page for the email um, but you would want to go in and do just a little bit of housekeeping. 
So essentially it's done now. So this is the new one that we've installed. If we go into the back end, this is the WordPress admin we're going to go into now. What you will see is that it's been cloned over. It's an exact duplicate of the original site. So it still says ESN services, but as you can see up here, the pathway now has Upwork in it. Now, what I'm going to do just to show you the difference, that was ESN services. We're going to go into the original site and you will see that it's the exact same thing except it doesn't have the Upwork part in there. So in a nutshell, that is how you would duplicate a website. That is also how you could potentially um, transfer one domain name, so esnservices.com, to another domain name that you might have recently purchased. So let's just say you purchased esnservices.co.uk or .net and you wanted to um, duplicate the site over. It's that easy. The reason why I point this out, as I said, I've recently joined Upwork and I see a lot of people on Upwork asking this question and offering to spend hundreds of dollars to do this. And it just, it kind of hurts my heart to think someone's probably going to charge them two, three hundred dollars for a 15 minute job, 20 minute job, 20 minutes tops. If you take into consideration the maintenance going in and making sure that anywhere that the domain name is typed is updated to the new domain name or extension. So anyway, that was a quick tutorial on how you would clone a website or move a whole website within GoDaddy from one hosting package to another. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and please subscribe and please check out my other videos.